So we're going to be looking at probability with two-way tables here. Now to get started, I'm going to have to show you two things. This is my magic wheel. I spin the wheel and whatever that's pointing to, that's what the letter is. So if I spin it and A is down here, then A is the letter. And that's a dice and you know how dice work. So what I'm going to do is spin this and uh, roll my dice and I'm going to get some result, a letter and a number. All right, we can represent that using a two-way table. So here's my two-way table. I've put all of the things that the spinner can do down the side here, and I've put all of the things that the dice can do here, A to E here, 1 to 6 here. And each of the squares in my two-way table represents an outcome when I spin it and roll it at the same time. So for instance, uh, this is C and 4. Um, this one here is E and 6. And of course... I can fill them all in. And now that we've got it all filled in, we can do the easy thing, I suppose, which is starting to calculate probabilities of certain things happening. I've chosen a silly example for the start here, the probability of rolling a 6. Now, you already know that the probability of rolling a 6 is 1 in 6, but I'm going to calculate it in an alternative way using my two-way table, see if I can also get the answer 1 in 6. So, what are the total things that can happen when I spin the spinner and roll the dice? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 30 total things that can happen. Because remember, we've got our n sample space on the bottom here. And what's the total number of ways that I can get a 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because they're the number of ways that the event can happen. All right, so let's fill that all in. Number of ways it can happen, 5. The size of the sample space, 30, 5 over 30, which simplifies to 1 over 6. I already knew that, but it's nice to check it using my two-way table. Let's do some real questions that two-way tables need. All right, this one might be a bit more challenging. The probability of getting a B and a 6. Remember, this is the intersection, and. All right, that's going to be equal to the number of ways to get a B and a 6 over the size of the sample space or the universal set, all of the things in that set. All right, so we know that the total number of things in that set is 30, and the number of ways to get a B and a 6. A B and a 6. There's only one way to get a B and a 6. One. The probability here is 1 out of 30. What about a B or a 6, the union? B or 6. So we know that the we need to do the same formula as always. Size of the sample space, the number of ways to get a B or a 6. Okay, how many ways can I get a B or a 6? All right, this is a B. It's a B or a 6, right? It's not a 6, but it's a B. This is a B, this is a B, this is a B, this is a B, and this is a B. There are six Bs there. One, two, three, four, five. There are five sixes there. Okay, but there's also one overlap that's a B and a 6. All right, so let's just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 Bs or 6s. So that's 10 out of 30, which is 1 in 3. You have a 1 in 3 chance when you do this that you'll get a B or a 6. So the probability of a vowel and an even number, well, that's going to be equal to the size of the sample space. And on the top here, the number of ways to get a vowel and an even. Remember, this is an intersection. This is and. All right, which ones are a vowel and an even? This is a vowel, but not an even. This is a vowel and an even. Okay, a vowel and an even, a vowel and an even, a vowel and an even. Where's my other vowels? A vowel and an even, a vowel and an even, a vowel and an even. Two, four. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. There are six ways to do it out of 30, which is 1 in 5. There is a 1 in 5 chance that you get a vowel and an even when you do this. So you knew this had to be coming, the vowel or an even. Okay, now I'm not going to write the formula here. I'm just going to write, we know that our sample space has a size of 30. And now we're going to take a look at the vowels or evens. And I'm just going to do it systematically. Is this a vowel or an even? Yes, it is. It's a vowel but it's not even, but that doesn't matter, it's a vowel. This is a vowel, this is a vowel, 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 vowel. All right, so they're all vowels. There's also a bunch of vowels down here as well. So 
anything in this row and anything in this row is going to be included in this. Now, what about the evens? Well, even, 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 even. So, all together, I have 6 plus 6, which is 12, plus 3, which is 15, plus 3, which is 18, plus 3, which is 21. I have 21 out of 30 chance, 21 in 30 chance, of getting a vowel or an even number when I do this experiment, which of course simplifies to 7 out of 10. Now that's probability with two-way tables. I am going to do one more thing with this, but I'm going to save it for another video. That's enough for this one.